you're going to memorize the grocery list. First thing, everyone, visualize a shopping trolley in front of you. The next thing is, take a broccoli, very big broccoli, put it in your shopping cart. Right, visualize the top of the broccoli coming out, right? And it's all over the shopping cart, one big broccoli. Not a small broccoli, but a big one. The next thing, take a piece of carrot and you stick it on top of the broccoli. So you visualize the carrot protruding out of the broccoli. Banana. You take a banana and you put it on top of the carrot. So you visualize maybe the banana balancing on the carrot. Now you peel your banana skin and what do you see? You see a live salmon, right? The salmon is all cold and wet and it's moving. Next, bread. I take two pieces of bread and I put it in between the salmon. So visualize the cold water from the salmon seeping into the bread. Chicken. Next, imagine a chicken. The chicken is huge, right? Six foot four. Chicken walks up towards the bread and holds onto the bread. Visualize this chicken using its feathered wings holding onto the bread. That visual image. I've got shampoo. What do I do next? Let the chicken wash itself. Okay. So imagine pouring shampoo all over the chicken now. So the chicken is covered in shampoo and foam. Next, oil. Instead of washing away the shampoo with water, the chicken now takes a bottle of oil and pours it all over itself to wash away the shampoo. Right, visualize the texture that the shampoo and oil creates. Let's see if we can recall. Try to recall in terms of your images. Right, right now, you have just seen the list and there's this thing called short-term memory bias. Right, you don't want to do that. So recall in terms of your pictures. You got your shopping cart. What's your first item, guys? Broccoli. Good. You guys see the image of the broccoli in your cart? What's next? Okay, a carrot. Okay, good. What's next? Then you get your banana, you put it on top of your carrot. Okay, good. What's next? You guys see the image when you pull your banana skin? Do you see the salmon there? Good. What's next? Bread. Good. What's after bread? What's after chicken? Last item? Good. This is level one this is just eight items right but that shows you how we memorize as so-called mental athletes it doesn't matter it can be a list of eight items 10 20 100 a thousand but the main concept remains the same and that is to turn each item that you want into a visual image now you guys just practice this technique so imagine after two months three months a year of practicing so you can see how far you can go with regards to memorization Okay, the link story technique. First step, create a visual mental folder. Can anyone guess what the visual mental folder was for grocery list? Shopping trolley. Why do you guys think we need a mental folder? Distinguish different lists from each other, right? It also acts as a cue, right, or a hook. Step two, turn each word into a mental image. Our brain has evolved to encode, to store and to retrieve information based on images, not words. My text has only been around if you look through the whole of human lifespan for how long? Right? 100, 200, 1000 years max, maybe? Lastly is to create a link, right? The other word for a link is association, right? To make sure each item touches one another. Was there contact between your shopping trolley and broccoli? Was there contact between broccoli and carrot? Using your entire brain to remember, make sure that your images are vivid. Use your senses, right? Sight. Touch the item. Use your emotion, right? Emotion and memory is tied together. Something that is funny, you'll be able to remember. Make your images three dimensional. Exaggerate the size. Sometimes you need to expand and contract, right? For example, if the broccoli was too small and the shopping cart was too big, you might miss it as well. So sometimes you need to exaggerate the size and use humor.